very good morning first i would like to thank professor sitaram for his valuable time and also all the efforts taken to bring this universal human value education in the technical education and respected dr rajnish arora chairman of national coordination committee for induction program aicte dr h d sharan chairman of national committee for universal human values mr rajul astana vice chairman of national committee for universal human values dr kumar sambhav director of up institute of design noida for their valuable time they have taken to bring this universal human value education for the entire country thank you sir thank you for your good effort and i welcome all the vice chancellors from various universities dignitaries from other institutes heads of our various centers and departments and other faculty members i am very happy to inaugurate this workshop because it's a need of the hour though we have been teaching so many subjects that will become nothing if there is no human value among the students among us first among us and also among the students if it is not failing the sustained growth will not be there peace and harmony we cannot expect in the near future so what we understood in the last 200 years because of the technological growth by the engineers the environment got disordered because of the last two centuries the disaster made by the engineers because of all we thought we are inventing something electricity invented motor vehicle invented that was that created lot of comfort to the human beings but that time we didn't know that we are going to make disaster to this society at the, the environment now we in the last two to three decades only we understood that we have created a great disaster to the environment now we are in the process of correcting that that environment management is the major subject and uh, uh, people have been talking the whole world is talking about this climate change and other effects but now the whole world is shifting towards artificial intelligence towards the human brain how to make it uh, automation that level we have uh, started and uh, we are going to make lot of change in the next three decades uh, in all engineering the engineering the emerging technology penetration will be there in all sectors even from agricultural sector health sector and infrastructure sector education sector everywhere it will be there but now it is very very careful we have to be very very careful because this artificial intelligence will give lot of chaos to the human system only because that all energy energy based development created lot of disaster to the environment energy and environment are opposite in nature when we want to make something with the energy that will create disaster in the environment only now we understood that but anything what we are going to make with the artificial intelligence directly it will hit the human system so this is as uh, act chairman also explained that only the need for this human value or this universal human value at this juncture is very very essential unless we promote this human universal human value and promote this technology in a bigger way i am sure this society will get large disaster it is the need and urgent need of the hour and this uh, value education what we need to love ourselves first we do, we need to love ourselves then we need to love others we need to understand the emotion of the other peoples then only we we can give create peace and harmonies in the society so it is not very easy to bring that peace and harmony in the society very easily we need to inculcate we need to get the training so as our professor sharan pointed out any senior people if we tell that uh, i want to teach you what is value means they will not accept as they won't accept because they think they know everything that ego will not uh, allow anybody to listen so that is why anything to bring that values to the students first we need to educate the leaders that is why this workshop this uh, workshop is 
that uh, we need to bring slowly only. We need to first need to uh, tell the importance of this human value to the leaders. After, without their understanding, definitely it cannot penetrate. We cannot make them the student to understand. So that is why the, all the head of the departments who are here and directors, you need to teach this value of this, uh, whatever you are going to learn in this uh, one-day workshop. You need to tell about this uh, necessity to the, all the faculty members of our engineering fraternity. Then only they can understand and they will, they will make the student to participate in this uh, workshop. So this is one day workshop only to ini initiate, but uh, it is some one week or two week course. So I request all of you to attend this one week, uh, uh, two week, uh, that program organized by our, uh, uh, our coordinator. Uh, I heard that the SRM coordinator has done la one online workshop I have attended. The, after introducing this, all the faculty members, they start coming for this, voluntarily they start coming. Initially, it will be with the force. Then they automatically, people will come. So anything, uh, what uh, my, in my experience, what I understood, finally, people will get fullest satisfaction by helping others. When, only when you start helping others, that uh, real uh, satisfaction of the human mind and human heart, you will get that, uh, that kind of experience you get by helping others. Uh, only we start doing that, you will experience that. Uh, somehow God has given that kind of uh, experience. After my marriage, my wife took me to some uh, kind of this kind of training in my, immediately after my marriage. Then I got this kind of training through some kind of meditation center. Really, after that, my total uh, career also changed because of that. Because of that. Now, for your uh, information, one of my professor, uh, Dr. Sedu uh, Madhavan, you all must be knowing, he's a very good consultant. He has done more than some 600, 700 uh, uh, industrial consultancy in our center. He took me to many of these consultancy assignments. Uh, when I was young, he took me to various centers. And wherever critical situation, he used uh, my help. Because uh, he knows I will never get irritated by anybody. I, so finally, during the, uh, uh, when we gave uh, this, uh, his retirement function, he told, uh, I have seen only one person in this university who nobody can irritate him. So, <laughs> so I got, uh, so whatever the scenario, I take it very light because nothing is there. If we have no hidden agenda, nothing is expectation, nobody will do anything. So that kind of mentality, if you come, you can start helping many people. Definitely, this workshop will be very, very useful to all the leaders. Uh, all the leaders, uh, you, you should understand the value of uh, UHV. That uh, I, I, I didn't know about this uh, syllabus. So without knowing the syllabus, I tried to introduce this, uh, this kind of courses in our university in a various way. Lo though a lot of objections were there to bring it as elective, Finally, I brought this as uh, some four courses I have introduced for the first year students. You all might be knowing various kind of uh, meditation and other things. Then after that, AICT, AICT itself is doing such course. I was very happy. Then after that, I want to bring this uh, course in the as elective because it's a uh, without a, they have made this course in such a way that no objection will come from the society. The no objection will come from the society so that uh, it is a religion uh, without any religion. Sometimes people will think it is some kind of religion things. So that is why th there was some difficulty, but uh, ACT has made in a very big way, very good uh, effort they have taken. I am very thankful for the people who have done a lot of effort to bring this such a kind of education. I am very sure in another 10 years, because of this course, the whole world is going to appreciate our India. This kind of, I, I have already seen uh, some of the kind of courses are being practiced in Gulf countries. I, I have seen some of the people, the Mughal, uh, the, uh, the kings, they invited some people and they asked to uh, give this kind of education to their student because they understood the value of uh, bringing this kind of education. And I request all the faculty members to undergo this full-time training and you should become the uh, trainer. Uh, teacher for this course, at least for the next two years, then the, our youngst, young faculty members will start teaching this subject. This one day will be definitely will give a different thought for you after we attend all these uh, uh, this kind of uh, lectures given by experts. 
uh, and I thank all the AACT members, part of AACT and also AACT chairman for this wonderful initiative at, uh, taken at our uh, campus, Anna University. For your valuable time, again I thank you uh, once again for the benefit of our uh, uh, teachers. Thank you very much.